Time for another edition of Ask Ellen. So Kristen said, my kids would like to know how lake effect snow works. I love this question. Usually when we do weather experience, we have some experiments that we do to show how lake effect snow forms. But let's just look at this example. Let's say we have Lake Michigan, which in the wintertime, like right now, is sitting at 38 degrees. That sounds cold, but it's warmer than the lands around it. So we have Wisconsin and Michigan, and both Wisconsin and Michigan are usually chillier. So today we have temperatures in the 20s, and today we have even colder air that's getting ready to move in. Well, as that cold air moves in and hovers over warm Lake Michigan, you have cold air interacting with warmer and wetter temperatures. This immediately forms a cloud. That cloud can get strong enough and big enough that it starts to produce some snow, and the wind continues to carry it, usually to our shore, where it drops lake effect snow. Now you'll always know something is lake effect if it starts in the middle of Lake Michigan or in the middle of Lake Superior. In fact, all of our Great Lakes are capable of producing lake effect snow. And we typically see a lot in places like Marquette and Traverse City, Muskegon and Grand Rapids. Now if we look at what's going to happen with our particular forecast tonight, it's that exact setup. We have an Arctic front which is dragging really cold air down over Lake Michigan. Remember Lake Michigan sitting at 38. And as that happens, it soaks up the warmer water from Lake Michigan and produces the bands of lake effect snow. Again, you can tell it's lake effect if it starts in the middle of a lake and then starts to move in onto land. Thanks for that, Ellen. That's a great explanation. Thank and you. thanks to Kristen for sending in the question. If you have a question that you would like to ask Ellen, you can send it over to the 7 at woodtv.com.